everybody, welcome back to another episode of In the NASCAR, and in tonight's In the NASCAR episode, I am going to be talking about the new Ford Mustang body for next year's NASCAR Cup Series season, and as well as previewing the championship weekend. So, starting off, we have the new Ford Mustang body, and I'm going to show you guys a picture up right on the screen, and here it is, so... Yeah, it looks really nice. You can tell the mate, the big difference is obviously the front looks to grill. And as you can see, on the sides as well, you can see yeah, there's kind of like a little bit of a bump on the side there. Like, that's part of the body, by the way. And I'm not sure, like, what kind of um, arrow thing it's going to do. But it's going to be really good to see. Really cool. And then, we, and then um, there's the back. And it looks nice. This car looks so so cool guys i cannot wait for the paint schemes to be out for the for next year it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun and also but i heard the toyota cars are gonna have some sort of new body as well so looking forward to that looking forward to see what the toyotas are so yeah man that's really big breaking news that came out yesterday i believe so yeah in the nascar world the new ford's bodies they're gonna be here so yeah Really excited, looking forward to see what these cars look like ra actually racing. So, that's going to be interesting heading into next season. So now I'm going to be talking about the championship weekend. I'm going to be predicting, mostly going to talk to me up, mostly going to be talking about the Cup Series. But I'm going to give you guys my Truck Series, Xfinity Series, and Cup Series championship predictions. So, yeah, the, the Truck Series race is tomorrow night. And, um, yeah, so my pick for the Truck Series championship is going to be Carson Hosovar. I just have a feeling that, you know, with the season he has, I think he has like three wins. He just won recently at Homestead. So, I see a lot, potentially a lot of momentum on, on Carson Hosevar's side. And I feel like he's going to get the job done. So, I feel like, you know, that team, Carson Hosevar, he's done good at Phoenix before. So, I expect him to do, do good. Their championship containers are Corey Heim, Grant Enfinger. Corey Heim, Corey Heim Grant Enfinger, and Ben Rhodes. Corey Heim, a really good championship threat. However, though, I've seen the trends. I've looked at, I've heard the trends, trends and I remember a reg, the Truck Series regular season champion has never won the championship. So, yeah, I don't think Corey Heim's going to win the championship because of that stat. He, it, he might prove me wrong. We'll have to wait and see. Ben Rhodes, I mean, I just don't think he's going to have the pace to contend, but he may, he might. He finished second in this race a year ago, so... Yeah, we was close, coming up close to Zane Smith, but and then Grant Empinger experience is going to be a big factor, and this is also GMS's final Truck Series race tomorrow night. So, yeah, I pick Carson Hosevar to win the Truck Series race tomorrow, and then the Xfinity Series: John Hernemichek, Justin Allgaier, Sam Mayer, and Cole Custer. I'm gonna go with John Hernemichek as my pick for the championship. Look, he has the most wins in the Xfinity Series. Uh, I just feel like, and look at this stats. Joe Gibbs Racing, the Xfinity Series, has won two of the two, well, two of the last three championships. So uh, I have a feeling Joe Gibbs is going to continue that streak. And John Hernemichek, he won at New Hampshire, which that track is really similar to similar to Phoenix. I'm having John Hernemichek winning the winning the championship this season. So yeah, John Hernemichek, man, this I ex I expect him to do really well. Justin Allgaier, I mean. If he doesn't win the championship this season, I might just have to start calling him the Denny Hamlin of the Xfinity Series currently because Justin Allgaier has had so many opportunities to win a championship just like Denny Hamlin does in the Cup Series, but just does not get the job done. Sam Mayer, this is his first championship for experience. I don't think he's going to be able, I don't think he's going to do it if he's not one of my picks. And then Cole Custer, experience. I think he's going to be a contender with John Ramachek, so, yeah. Now, what I'm going to talk, be talking about the Cup Series, the main big event. Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, Ryan Blaney, and William Byron are your championship four. And, yeah, Phoenix is a track that, <laughs> it's a track position race, okay? It, the racing won't be the best, but I just wish it's at Homestead. I wish it's at Homestead, but... The only reason why NASCAR is racing at Phoenix for Phoenix for a championship because of his facility. That's why. So, yeah, guys. So, um, Kyle Larson, man, I like the speed. 
I really like the speed that Kyle Larson has. It's just that... <clears throat> it's just that I just... Just... Something about the Homestead race where... Something about that is just... I'm kind of worried because he might either... I don't know. I don't know. I, I have a bad feeling Larson's going to have to have gonna, like, gonna mess something up in the um, cup race on Sunday. So, yeah. William Byron, man. I like the speed that William Byron has. Well, obviously, last week he's been absent. He didn't do as good. But I'm kind of nervous for William Byron as well. Just because of the speed that he has. I mean, like, man. But William Byron, man. Six wins. If he doesn't win the championship year, I would still say this is this is proud year for William Byron, so, yeah, and he'll definitely have more opportunities in the near future, so, yeah, Ryan Blaney, he's, he's the one I'm really most positive about, guys, Ryan Blaney at Phoenix in the next gen era has finished fifth or better, like, he's finished second, second, and a top, another top five finish, that's incredible, he even won a stage, even contended with Joy Legano for the championship last year, even though Blaney wasn't even in the championship, he's just looking for a win, but, Ryan Blaney, man, I have very confident in Ryan Blaney's chances right now. I am very confident. So, yeah. And then Christopher Bell. I just don't think he can execute. That's the thing. Like I said in my playoff predictions video back in September. I was just worried about Christopher Bell's execution. And that's why I didn't make... I didn't think making him out of the round of 12 because of his execution. But, man, the speed in Christopher Bell's car has been really good. So, yeah. So, Christopher Bell, I have, so, Christopher Bell, I have some confidence in him, and Toyota, they've been doing so outstanding, so, yeah. But now, I'm going to get down to it, who do you, who do I think will win the championship, and, uh, this guy really didn't do much in the summer, but, I'm going to have to say Ryan Blaney, I really like the chances Ryan Blaney has, Ryan Blaney is my championship pick for this weekend, hope I'm right, <laughs> But, um, yeah, but it's going to be tough. This has to be one of the most interesting championship fours I've ever watched as a NASCAR fan. Like, Kyle Larson, a two-time, well, actually, this is a, he's a 2021 champion, along with Christopher Bell, both making their second championship four appearance. Then we got William Byron and Ryan Blaney. Two young guns, first championship four appearance. And this is the youngest championship four ever in history of NASCAR in the playoff era, so, man, this is interesting, I, I am very interested to see who's going to be the champion for this year, my pick is Ryan Blaney, I, I just, I just, I have a lot of confidence in Blaney right now, his momentum over the past few weeks, he's recently won at Talladega, I was there in person when he won, so, yeah, but Ryan Blaney, I like the chances he has at Phoenix, I'm confident Blaney's going to win the championship. He's my pick, guys. And plus, Penske won the championship last year with Logano. So, I feel like they can do the same thing. So, yeah, guys. So, anyways, that's going to be it for this little for this, for this video. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And anyways, this is Preston signing off. Peace out.